Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well yesterday we pretty much finished out this site. One thing I'm going to do, I should have done it before we did our upload yesterday but I wanted to demonstrate our live contact form here is add a favicon to the site. Now what's a favicon you may ask? Good question. If we look up the top here it's got a kind of placeholder on Google Chrome of this globe here. But if we look at uh, one of my other websites here, it's got a little image right there. That's a favicon. Look at YouTube. It's got an image right there. That's a favicon also, or a site icon. So let's add one. And we're finished with this site. And it's pretty easy to do. If we go to our root folder here, just our root folder where we created all of our files. Inside I've now added a little image and it's a PNG portable network graphic and it's 20 pixels by 20 pixels. You can have it bigger, smaller, that's sort of preferred for most devices and you also have these retina ready devices you can add a larger more high def one if you want to. I'm not going to do that for this site but like I say, the image that I'm going to use today is 20 pix by 20 pix. It's a PNG, so it's got a transparent background behind there. And we're going to add it to our site. Now, the only thing with this is, like I say, we should have added it before, really. Once we've added it to this contact page, we need to add it to every other page on the site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is open up the contact page HTML in my bracket software. If you don't have a text editor, Brackets is absolutely free and you can download it from a link below this video and it's got some great features. But if you've got a favorite that you like to use, that's fine too. Any text editor will do. Okay, we're at the top of our page right here and just under the metadata, I'm going to drop down and I'm going to add a link for that little favicon. So I'm going to say link. What is it? It's an icon. So the browser knows that this is the icon for the site up there. So href. It's a link. Equals where it is. And if it's in the root folder, uh, you just need to type the name of the file. If it was in a subfolder like images you'd have to type images and then the name of the file but ours is in the root folder so it should be right here somewhere there it is fav.png if you hover over it it should show it there it is and let's just close that up save control s back to the site move that one out of the way now when I refresh that little favicon should appear up there in place of the globe. There we go. And like I say you need to go through each page and add it to it. Of course I've got all my pages open in brackets here. So if I go to the features I want to make sure I copy it first. Just copy. Control C. Go to the features. Put it in the same place right up at the top. Under the meta. Save. Rinse and repeat for all the other pages. Of course you'll have to re-upload it. That's, that's really easy to do. Just need to upload the... Uh, actual ping to the root folder on your hosting and also the HTML docs. So when I go to features now it should have it also. But I haven't done it on pricing so if we go to pricing that's got the generic one. So there you have it. That's how to add a favicon to your Bootstrap 4 website. This will work also for HTML straight HTML5 sites too. Um, okay, that's it really for this series of videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. I think what I might do, if anybody's interested, 
if anybody wants this bootstrap website that I built here I can put a link and sell it for perhaps just a couple of bucks two dollars or anything like that if anybody's interested if you are leave me a comment down below or just shoot me an email and I'm happy to do that and if I get enough interest in it I'll just put a link down below there and like I say I'll, you're welcome if you don't feel like building it and you just want to have it and populate it for your uses I haven't got a problem with that so just let me know and I'll put it for sale for a few bucks, two, three dollars. Great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.